We're back with Zanus' USA, one of the largest modern military roleplay groups on Roblox, where today we take a look at the life behind their walls. Joining us today is a Major General from the Army Special Operations Command. Greetings, my name is Major General Solo Slio. I'm the Commanding Officer of SOAR and I've been in Zan's USR for seven years now, six years. I originally joined Zan's USR back in about 2016 and they had a pretty like big ad campaign going on back then and obviously they were nice, you know, caught my attention and I joined. This was during Ashton's reign over USR and so it was pretty easy to get ranked. The group was new and I had a friend up in high command and he got me the 75th executive officer position. And from there, I worked to help with the group uh, recruitment stuff. Like uh, I worked with one of the generals to help with the USR recruitment. And there was this game, I forgot its name, but there is a recruitment game. And for about a month, I worked on that. And then I got fired. Everyone got fired and I quit. I chose ASOC due to it being considered the elite command of USR, I felt like it had friendly personnel and high command. And while at times sometimes we do tend to be toxic or feel like we're superior, for the most part we're pretty welcoming and nice to each other. I don't feel like we really discriminate against people as much as they think we do. Um, it's generally pretty fun leading SOAR. I don't feel much of distrust most high command mentions. I don't feel like there is a burden on me. And I feel like it's pretty fun. And I know for some people this game matters a lot to them. Because, you know, maybe they have relatives in the army. And they want to join the army in the future. And some people are just, you know, indoctrin indoctrinated into the community. So I try to give them the best possible experience within SOAR. Uh, seeing other personnel happy and appreciative of what I do motivates me to do what I do. It's just you know, a good feeling to know that you know you're making some younger kids day or someone so you're just making someone else happy and helping someone else have a good experience within Roblox and you know USR as a whole. And the support of some of my friends, you know, some of my Zulu buddies, my high command, my battalion stuff, basically everyone in SOAR. And ASOC command stuff motivate me to do, you know, my job to the best of my abilities. We don't currently skirmish against other army groups, so I don't know. If I had to redo the whole, you know, USR thing, I try harder not to let my old company Zulu get shut down because Poe shut it down for... I don't exactly know the reason, but it was shut down during Soul reforms. Um, everyone knew it was going to be a temporary thing, but the amount of time and effort I put in for Zulu was kind of, you know, just blown away by the decision of someone else, which I had no take in, I had no part in it. It's, it's okay though, because, you know, a lot of the fragments of Zulu 
yeah, that's the only thing I'd do because if I had to go back and reopen Zulu and stay as company commanding officer, I'd choose that over being sword commanding officer. It's not very difficult to manage time between real life and uh, USR. I do go out very often and it usually ends up clashing with meetings or scheduled events. But I always prioritize real life over Roblox because if, I feel like if you're picking a game over your own health, you're going to miss out on life and the experiences life brings with it. And it's just going to end up affecting you negatively, both mentally and physically, because you need to, you know, get up and move around and you know actually live life this game isn't life it's not going to help you in your future and it's not going to help you get better at much it's just a game you know like there's not supposed to be any benefit for it it's for entertainment uh i feel like the current administration in usr is fine because you know no one's perfect. I wouldn't say they're the best, but they're not bad either. And there are certainly things that they can improve on. But, you know, just like us, they're real humans. They have a, a real life outside of USR. And I can't ask them to put in more time and effort than they already do. The only thing I'd ask from them was for there to be more independence for divisions or at least commands for approval or make the, the creation of roles because it would just make you know the whole process much easier but other than that i don't really have any complaints um there's not one like i don't really have many ach achievements or something i'd consider an achievement but the two things i do think you know that that made me proud of, of myself were my promotion to Eagles Battalion Commanding Officer and my promotion to Source Commanding Officer because they were both pretty unexpected promotions and they were pretty big jumps from my previous positions because I'd never been divisional high com when I got promoted to Source EO. I feel, I feel happy with myself, you know, knowing that it didn't take me much time to adapt to the positions and I know that I can take much more than this. And, you know, this is just a start. There's much more to come. Out of 1 to 10, I'd rate Zan's USR a 7. There obviously could be certain improvements and tweaks to how the game itself runs, like, you know, for Martin runs. And there could be tweaks with regimental and command changes. But the community itself is quite fun and friendly. And it's they have it has a variety of people, you know, like, there's people from all types of different walks in life. And they can teach you a lot, you know conversing with them about their life and you know talking about, about your life too it is pretty fun and is the whole the problem with the wartime and deployments because i do feel like a majority of the personnel in usr want deployments and if army staff were to give command staff or regimental high com permissions to engage in deployments engage their units in deployments then USR would be a much better group than it is currently because there's no purpose in having a lot of these combative units like you know force comm units and the 75th rangers if they're not going to be deployed against other groups and i feel like there would be more use for these ranks and positions if we were engaging in deployments and wars with other groups. I know it is hard to set up, but I don't feel like it's impossible, especially in a larger scale. I feel like it would, it would be easier than, you know, small groups because small groups have to account for each and every personnel. While in USR, we have so many personnel, no matter what time zone we pick, we're going to have good attendance and we're going to do good. And that was 10 questions with Major General Solas Leo on Zanins' USR. Lagging again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um, yeah. yeah. That's my introduction. Did you get all of that? Then, you know, a random E2. Look, 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 can I redo that? Come here.
completely locked out. Oh, uh, do you want me to redo? Um, yeah. 